five gigs. So I've been promising this for a while now to you guys. I've been saying uh, my chip can get to five gigahertz, and it did. This morning I got it to five gigahertz at 17 degrees ambient, so it cooled down a little bit. I've been waiting for it to cool down a little bit, and all this is on a $30 air cooler. So let's pull that up for you guys there. You can see there the Animax. T40. This thing is just freaking amazing value for money. Anyway, let's get on to the video where I got managed to get this clock and I'll show you the details. It's not exactly a 5 gig clock on all cores. It's actually 5 gig on one of the cores, but it's it's enough to get 5 gigs. So technically it's still 5 gigs. Anyway, let's have a look at the video. All right, so we're booting her up now and this message will come up because yep, didn't shut down successfully last time because we had a fail overclock in there, but this time it should be okay. So, it's booting up and it's into it's onto the desktop. So, this is at 5 gig on the first core and 4.9 on the second and 4.9 on the third and fourth. But I'll get into that later. I'll get into that later. We're going to open up CBUZ for you guys and show you the 5 gig on Haswell. So, Let's uh, zoom the camera in a bit closer for you guys. Uh, show you that there. There it is, 5 gigs, baby. And the voltage is pretty damn high, but it's 17 degrees ambient temps. So it's pretty cool. So it's, I was waiting for it to cool down before I actually got this overclock. As you know, I don't want to run a 5 gig overclock in the heat of summer, in the middle of summer. So it's been very hot as lately, but it's finally cooled down. And I was finally able to get these this overclock for you guys. Now the temperatures here are... Oh, this is over idle, so you can see here it's almost idling like 19 degrees or 20 degrees over idle, which is pretty damn huge, but um, this is a delidded chip too, so uh, basically if you guys didn't know, you should delid your Haswell if you can, I do recommend it, so I'm going to go over, I'm going to go through some of the settings for you guys right now, uh, I'll go into the BIOS and sort of explain everything I did to get this overclock, uh, obviously I'm not going to load up Prime95 as it'll probably crash, this is only just a, pretty much a suicide run is what they call it, in the overclocking community, just to show my CPU can boot up in 5 gigs. But um, I'll just quickly change it back to my 4.6 gig profile. Uh, as you know, that's you know, I don't I don't feel too comfortable running my chip at around 1.4 volt. And keep in mind, if your chip is over 1.4 volt, you can pretty much you know, 1.4 volts pretty much the threshold. If you go over that threshold, you're pretty much in danger of actually you know damaging your chip. So really be careful when you start playing with those higher voltages. Obviously for me, like I said before, I was waiting for the temperatures to cool down. And, you know, obviously it did, so I was able to get this kind of suicide run for you guys. But I'll go through the settings here and what I did to sort of um, achieve this overclock. And I'll sort of detail it for you guys. But mostly, you know, most of the time I'm comfortable running at 4.6. But we'll go first here. We'll go through it. So base clock's at 100 uh, megahertz. That's the base clock. Uh, the CPU strap is at 1 as well. So, you know, if you want to tweak, you can use those settings. But for me, I was just going for a raw 5 gig overclock, so I didn't need to touch that. Now, the CPU PCIe PLL. If you're using a low clock strap, it is recommended to use the Southbridge PLL. So that's something you guys might want to remember. Now, obviously, with the cores, it's locked in at uh, 50. So that's 5.0, which gets you the 5 gig overclock. Now, the one of the most important things is to hit dynamic mode here, because if you hit dynamic mode, you are then able to adjust every core individually. So even though it's 5 gigs, you can actually go later on into the CPU features and change that. But you see there, the just for now, we'll just show you that the ring ratio is at 4.1. I like to keep it there. It's a good sweet spot for the ring ratio for my CPU. Every CPU will have a ring, what I call a ring ratio uh, sweet spot. Mine's 4.1. Feel free to copy my settings if you want to. Uh, also, the core voltage there is 1.39 volt, which is pretty damn high. I don't like to take it over 1.4 volt. That's just me. Uh, that's just me personally. I'm not going to really risk damaging my chip as I can't afford to replace it. But let's go down to DRAM. Uh, it's just clocked at 1.5 volt. The XMP profiles are more than fine for Haswell. It loves that sort of, I reckon it loves that, you know, my testing I did the, with the frame latency testing, it loves the low CL timings and, the, you know, the RAM speed doesn't matter so much on Haswell. So the uh, one P PCH 1.5 voltage, I just upped that a little bit and I upped the other one as well, the 1.05 to 1.07. So uh, here we've got, now if we go into CPU features, this is the most important thing. I disable my C states. Obviously for this suicide run, I don't want my voltage changing up and down. So I disabled that. Now you see here one core, the first core, you can change that to 50, which is my, you know, my first core is capable of going to 5 gigs. The second core went to 4.9. The third and four cores, they were a little bit of a, you know, they weren't as good as the other two and they could only get to 4.8. Now this is the biggest thing with Haswell. 
Uh, you know, a lot of people messaging me like, man, I can't get my chip, you know, it only goes to 4.2 at 1.3 volt. And now this has made me realize something that maybe your chip only has one bad core. Maybe you can get the other cores to 4.6 at 1.3 volt and maybe keep one of the cores at 4.2 at 1.3 volt. So I'm going to bring out a sort of intermediate sort of advanced overclocking tutorial for Haswell and I'm going to show you guys in you know how to get the most out of your CPU on this um, Z87 platform. So anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video and you know it's sort of I'm gonna you know I'm not really gonna keep it at 5 gig too much but if you did enjoy it um, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to Tech City and I'll catch you guys soon with another video peace out for now